What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So just yesterday, Apple released the very first beta for iOS 17.3, obviously in the form of beta one, and we have some day one takeaways here. Obviously, it's still not gonna be a long enough time to get a thorough battery test, but there are some positive signs I wanna talk about in this video, as well as some of the other little things that we missed that were new in this build. By no means is this a substantially large update, aside from the new security element they added, not too much else is really here. However, I wanna give you guys some feedback from day one with iOS 17.3 beta one. Let's go. So just a quick recap, iOS 17.3 beta one did come in with a rather large update size of 6.5 gigs. This is coming from iOS 17.2 RC. So it makes sense, again, you will always have that larger build number when you are updating betas from a specific prior point to a new point release. There is also, in settings, general, about, a new modem firmware update. We are now on 1.40.00. And one of the other big features, obviously, that has been talked about in this update let me jump into face and setting, face ID and settings, is going to be stolen device protection. As you guys can see, we obviously do have it turned on. This is a really cool extra layer of security. If someone happens to be watching you, get your password and steals your phone and tries to change some elements of it, you will actually be not only hesitant to do so because it does involve a delay now, but it does add extra layers of protection when there is uh, a new location this phone is in when it's away from the home or work locations. So nice to see, definitely a great added security benefit here, but nothing necessarily exciting, so to speak, for other users. One thing that is exciting that did get pulled from the old beta is in Apple Music. We now have those collab playlists back, and there's two ways to activate this like we talked about. If you are in a set playlist already, you can press this little guy icon here and invite friends to join, and you can turn on the option to approve collaborators if you so choose. Or on your three dot menu here, again, you can select collaborate and do it the same way. Benchmark testing on this was just a little lower than what was on 17.2's RC, as to be expected with a new beta, so nothing quite shocking there. Um, I would assume as well that, let's pull up a calendar really quick, this might be the only beta we're getting for this year. If we don't get a beta next week on the 19th, which is probably not going to happen because typically on original first betas, it does have a two-week delay. We are not on the weekly cycle, so if we waited two weeks, that would put us right on par with Christmas, and usually, historically, Apple does not release updates during those holiday weeks. And then, again, fast forward to another week, you are now at New Year's. So, probably nothing going to be coming soon if we don't get anything on the 19th, um, probably until the 8th or so. It could even potentially be the 16th, just depending on inter Apple's internal cycle right now. So yeah, keep in mind, this might not be the best beta to put on your daily driver right now, just for these thoughts. Um, you could be stuck with beta one for a while if there's any issues. Now, let's talk about some issues. I have not experienced too many aside from the photos app, not loading as you can see here. You can scroll around, right? But it never does load. No big deal, I've restarted the phone, just not showing up. But aside from this, there have not been any extra issues that we found here. The plus side, and I hate going into this battery setting because it doesn't give you a true representation of your actual usage in the last 24 hours with your screen on time between charges and all that. I can tell you right now, battery life has been solid on this build. We have not experienced any real massive drain um, traditionally from any apps that we run day to day. So this is no worse for wear than what 17.2 RC was. Having said that, I still don't think it's as good as what it needs to be, 
but it is on par with that. So if your hesitation was worrying about battery life, that is definitely not something to be concerned about with Beta 1 with this build. Also beyond that, obviously, there were some changes to the journaling app. So let's go to journal. We have a couple of added options here. We now have cellular data toggles and some other ones as far as the media and Apple Music one as well. So you can see what you have here. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get some, I guess we'll say, bombardment of notifications to remind you about journaling suggestions. You can obviously turn those off in these settings as well. That is nothing new. However, it is good to see here. And lastly, let's check the feedback app and see if that's been updated yet. It does not look like it has, pretty surprisingly, since we're a day later. Yeah, nothing's here. So the last update was on 1225. So again, we don't know exactly what's been quote unquote fixed or not with this build or what's been patched and working or what bugs truly remain because this is not updated. The other call out too is there's not even a loading page. If you go back into settings, and we were just talking about Face ID and all that for the security changes. But if you go back in here, and let me put my password back in again. When you actually scroll down for stolen device protection, and you can click learn more, yeah, it doesn't even work. It's still not a page that's actually viewable yet. So Apple's still tweaking a lot on the back end. Pretty surprising a day later. A couple hours is pretty common, but not the next day not to have this information. So that's it. Again, let me just recap for you guys. Battery surprisingly has been pretty well. Stability has been pretty well. You're not going to see a big decrease in performance if you're coming from the RC. And the new features, Apple Music, and obviously the stolen device protection is here. I don't personally see any reason to jump to this update if you don't need those specific features. Maybe wait for beta 2. But if you wanted to, the OTA is out now and available, probably for registered developers and any public testers, I would say probably later on today or next week. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you downloaded it, how are you doing on this build for your first day? We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.